good morning and uh, most of the time you'll find that the demonic activity in our life is we expo is exposed by the way we react um, to other people the way you deal with other people the way you feel about yourself and the way you you feel about other people and what you do to yourself in relation to what other people do to you and the places that you prefer to be found hanging around there to be your comfort because of what uh, you, you the demon gets into a place in your spirit where it makes you fall you know it, it makes you it drives your feelings to a place and it takes that part uh, that owns your that owns your the merry I can say the merry uh, just part of some sort the merry part of your way 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 actually if that place is treated your way you feel you are treated fine and uh, most of the time when you that place is not treated well you are offended and you make a mistake of thinking that it's you who's offended and uh, you, you walk around saying people don't don't understand you people don't don't uh, they're not patient with you whatever you say but you forget one thing that it's not you it's a foreign object it's another intelligence from another world that is occupy this area of your nerves and uh, is breaking you down and is crushing your life and uh, so now the first mistake you do you try to build yourself having a demon as a foundation having that background of your spirit uh, owned in, a, in another demonic world and you try to make people around you and um, and 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 uh, and, and or every parents uh, wife boy whatever husband whatever children you try friends you try them to demand it's very easy to support somebody who's demon possessed it's very easy uh, moody uh, uh, always want to be treated as if it's uh, it's got a unique some kind of uh, important atmosphere in their minds they 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 are just they make themselves a mystery of some sort as if they are they have to be understood different from normal ways of life uh quick tempered and and uh and uh those most people we deal with every day people that we try to understand people that age us to understand them are demon possessed it's 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 a it's a god created human being to be so uh simple to interact with everybody once someone has issues with people most of the time uh there is a demon board on that person and that demon will will cause havoc in that person's life like when you read in uh in may i think it's uh chapter five of mark they went across the lake into a region of the Gerona seas when jesus got out of the boat a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him this man lived in the tombs he lived in the tombs that was his comfort zone and no one could bind him anymore you see he was distanced from the people from the society from dealing with people you know those kind of people that can that that have decided like when a child in your house starts to be demon possessed you start to lock him herself in a room or himself and Put a big sign don't disturb me he starts to be having this life private life so-called that's not understood by anybody by any parent in this house he, he says I'm, I'm adventuring into my unique path of life which i have to explore once you start to want to explore things it's a demon because god has placed people around you who are mature than you who know almost everything that life has to be in life that has to be known but you start to separate yourself and 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 you wander in the regions that 
you alone are comfortable there. And like this man, as yes, we continue to read, the Bible says he could not be chained, for he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. You see that? It's a... Uh, when he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? In God's name, don't torture me. And Jesus said, Come out of this man, you impure spirit. Can you believe that? That it was the demon in this person's life was owning his life to 11 to it was representing his personality it was speaking on his behalf it was it, it, when it when he spoke a demon spoke some people or oh, some even almost everybody has a certain you know I mean like a level of demon trouble you find that one day maybe one hour in a day a demon will bother you and you'll feel irritated and Depends on your, how much you pray and your spirituality and all that. But no one is totally immune from being troubled by demons. It's just that we we, we keep them at bay in different uh, levels. But this demon is something else to be, or to have an area of your life owned by a demon. That's something else. We all get like tensions and headaches and all those things that we just deal and kick out. But it's something else to have. Okay, there are other people call it uh, possession, but it's just a certain area of your life that's possessed. So, this man, uh, so be careful in your life. Once you start to move away from people, it's a sign. You start to move out of the church. You start to, you are not understood in the church. The church is hurting you. Uh, you start to be defensive. You start to be irritated. You start to go around being angry. You snap and uh, you, you, you allow some warm feeling from inside of you to bust out to people that's a demon not you not you that's a demon you start to uh to engage yourself in unkind rallies of some sort where harming someone is is a way of a payback or a way of a, or you start to kind of involve yourself into social media like arrogantly and you start to insult everybody you are, you are, it's not you, it's a demon you are nursing in your life. It's going to ruin you, it's going to ruin you, ruin you. You can even end up murdering people. Uh, but most of the time in this part, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on the fact that you destroy your own life by moving away from people and, uh, and, and uh, making people uh, uh, like responsible for the for, for, for whatever is happening in your life you, you must always know everything that happens in your life you are responsible you allowed that spirit you allowed it in your life there is no one there is no person on this earth who should be blamed for the wickedness that you allowed in your life it's the wickedness that you allowed in your life so uh, be blessed and uh Look at that sincerely and uh, always know that uh, God cares. He's always ready to help you get delivered. But you must know how to approach these objects. You must know some of them need you to really uh, pray with someone who's anointed enough to deal with them. But uh, Christians most of the time uh, have a way of accessing that anointing on their own because when you have spent enough time under ministries that are anointed you yourself carry that anointing you must just build enough faith to 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 face the cross alone and you can really uh, get rid of that spirit it will destroy your life it will chase you home from people it will harm you it will keep you chained or some way uh, like this guy he drove him into the mountains of death and and he was there he was not understood a spirit how many people you pass on the road here 
mad people and we just make it normal. Those people are human beings. They are just as human as you are. They are no worse. They did nothing. Maybe some did something. Maybe they stole somebody's property and they bewitched. But they are human beings. That thing can leave them. If we, we can be in a position to portray a light enough that could offend and cut so, uh, uh, and cut through those people's uh, uh, the dimensions of, uh, of, 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 of the regions and reach to where these demons exist. They walk amongst us every day. In fact, there is no day in your life, there is no minute where you're not in, env in an environment where there is an evil spirit near you. There are those that follow you, trying to trap you all day. You know, they wake up in the morning and find out you are looking for a wallet, trying to go to the car, you lost your car keys, and you don't know the child is taking them, and you're already shouting in the house. They, they, that's, a, that's, that's, that's the good morning that the demon gives you. That's the first time it's going to irritate you. You want to make sure, and you come to the office, you, you are late into the meeting, and you are trying to connect your laptop, the battery is flat. It's, it's, it's keeping irritating you to make sure that uh, maybe... In the midday, somewhere, you, a manager will send a message to you, disciplining you, something we are already very angry of because, it, and you bust and you lose control by that. And you return with all that spirit back home to your wife, and you, you are already possessed. Your eyes are already glowing with anger. So it, it, they are in a mission to do small things, small things, so that you lose control. And if your life is no longer prayerful and all those things, they will end up going deeper. And deeper and end up trusting maybe trying to to go to just to to relax it maybe by too much movies or pornographies or alcohol whatever those are usually the regions where they 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 tie people the evangelist was kind of morning was just trying to exhort you to pray further to introspect your life further and know that god is there wanting you to amount to something in this life only demons don't want that.